everyone welcome to another membership exclusive video again we're carrying on and looking at different things in the game for this one we'll be looking at well bitsy things pretty much we're gonna be going into the home world the spirit link and the recycle station home world right when you look at the home world you have your spaceship you have your home base you have the casino and the discovery hall one two three four What's the value of the home world or the home base pretty much? The home base is something that you can upgrade. By upgrading it, see those old, those small mining things? Yep. These are the ones that give you resources in the game. The most important resource we care about is the gold. The gold. So it gives you gold, the currency, which helps you in upgrading your heroes. It gives you energy core. And this energy core is what you're going to be using to upgrade what your spaceships. It gives you also crystal of time. Crystal of time is what you're going to be using to upgrade your level of the home base. Pretty much the home base has a level. The more you upgrade it, the more the resources increase. After that, you have V gold, which we're going to be using to upgrade again your spaceships. So the more the level of the home base is upgraded, the more you can upgrade these small mining facilities and then they will give you more resources. Of course, the upgrade follows up until level 50 and then the resources really get nice, nicer-ish. So the current one at level 37 gives you 776k of gold daily. It can be upgraded more and more and that is the direction of the home base and why it exists in the first place. While you're upgrading it, you'll actually gain rewards from the construction award as soon as you reach the condition it has written in uh, next to it, pretty much, or on top of it. After that, you have the casino. The casino is a very simple slot to roll casino. By rolling it, you actually have a chance at gaining gold or V gold. Gold is the currency, pretty much or blue diamonds and at the top reward is a copy of an s plus hero rolling it and the current scenario of update we have energy one energy two and energy three energy one and energy two and energy three just consumes the amount of energy you see here in the bar when you're starting off in the game it's going to be showing 40 slash 40 now, if you have the monthly exclusive or some type of subscription privilege in the game, you can actually go with the auto direction. The auto direction of the auto skip allows you to choose what you target from resources, the four main ones, and then select energy times three. Hold. Hold the icon so you can actually start. And then all you need to do is absolutely nothing. It will keep rolling. No watching of animation. No nothing. Right? And you've already selected the resources that you want. Then you can click on stop if you don't want it to carry on and you will exit. Next is the spaceships. We have a number of spaceships that give us attack and power and also they attack the enemy. We're not going to go into spaceships in this one. That's a separate video. The different spaceships that we have also can be upgraded. That is why the resources of the V Gold are important in upgrades and the other one the crystal is also important that's the main reason we collect the energy core crystal and we collected the v gold to upgrade our spaceship spaceships follow a direction of levels and the more you upgrade the levels the stronger it is and when you max out a spaceship it actually shows a number of stars one two three four five six stars so depending on how much each upgrade requires, it just keeps on increasing in level. Going away from spaceships, the last thing we're going to be looking at here is the Discovery Hall. The Discovery Hall is a direction of you visiting different galaxies. And those galaxies, when you're in one, enter one, require energy fuel to be unlocked. We have three galaxies only unlocked and available in the game. Zeta Galaxy, Cybertron Galaxy, and uh, Linear Galaxy. That's the last one, the third one. The Karmai and uh, Bogano and the Nizel, the three of them haven't been developed or finished or unlocked, so we cannot actually go into them. Pretty much you cannot play them. Okay, so after you've selected your galaxy, you're going to be start exploring across these small stars and collecting 
the resources that you're going to be using to upgrade your heroes later which will show which is the interstellar ore now at the beginning of the game you will not have the exploration privilege and the exploration pri privilege pretty much does something very simple it just does a quick dispatch to the best of heroes you have and the higher the hero awakening which is maxed out at immortal okay then you will gain the full amount of the 1800 and the fuel at the same time you will find small looking cubes across the galaxies these cubes will also be looking to get to unlock the portraits of heroes okay so as soon as you finish one galaxy you can move into the other if you have sufficient fuel and then you would go to the star tech the star tech pretty much is a way or a place that you can unlock portraits for heroes to give them an additional attribute that the portrait holds okay we have four main factions the superman the technology the nature and the dark faction we also have the god slash universe faction the direction of course is to unlock all of them including the portraits including the slots and the direction of increase comes from the hp and attack and the faction bonus that comes from unlocking them the interstellar ore is what you're going to be needing to upgrade those slots and the maximum each slot can be upgraded is 15 times by unlocking the portrait by using the cubes that are needed let's show you that it actually gives that specific hero an additional attribute or ability see here showing that small cube yep by unlocking it that hero gains an additional attribute or ability for the portrait of his uh, face pretty much so the exploration you would finish the first one the zeta galaxy you will gain enough to unlock the second one and then you would go into unlocking the third one after you've gained enough fuel in that galaxy okay so moving on from there let's show the cubes themselves in the game so we have the crystal of death okay and this is for the dark heroes you gain it while sailing or exploring in the star tech or the discovery hall then the next one is the superman then the next one is the technology and then the nature and then you have one for the god and universe heroes those crystals are what you're going to be using as material to unlock the portraits collecting them is done automatically if you're just sailing in the star tech all right let's move into the next section that we will be looking at 